Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome to Man vs. Film. This is a movie review for Split, M. Night Shyamalan's latest movie to make it onto the big screen. Now, as we know, the man's had a checkered career. He started off really strongly, kind of got maligned a little bit, and has bounced back recently with sort of low-budget fare. He made a big impact with The Visit, a movie that I rather enjoyed, and I was looking forward to Split. It's an interesting premise. It's got James McAvoy, and again, it's a kind of low-budget movie, which I'm happy to see Shyamalan sort of mixing about in that type of uh, world. It makes him a little bit more creative. So the basic story of Split is about Kevin, a man with 23 different personalities inhabiting the one body and a couple of those personalities aren't the nicest and one of these ones kidnaps three girls for a nefarious purpose. This is pretty much the James McAvoy show. They don't go into all 23 characters but they go into a few of them and it's definitely a showy performance. He uses his body language, his features, his voice to change into these various people right in front of your very eyes. And they're all individual and interesting and unique. And it's a very interesting aspect to the movie. Now the three girls are good, but it's definitely all about McAvoy in this one. Anya Taylor-Joy, who is the main sort of girl of the three that's been captured to, uh, is a little bit different from the other two right from the outset. And that's a plot that comes into it later on in the movie. But she is a wee bit more controlled, a wee bit more subdued. She's more smarter and aware of everything and just watching for a chance to escape this man's clutches. And she very quickly latches onto the fact that it's multiple personalities that she's dealing with and tries to use that to her advantage. This movie is very tense and you're never quite sure what's going to happen. And you, you're kind of nervous for these girls and the personalities, you're never sure who's going to be a bad person and who's going to be a good personality. You're always on the edge when this new personality appears. Along with this story, there is the doctor, the person that's been looking after Kevin for a number of years and knows most of the personalities. And she's a little bit worried about recent events have maybe triggered something in him. And she's very careful and watching Kevin to see what's going to happen. Like I said, it's very tense, it's very atmospheric and it's kept within these narrow hallways, low angles, grubby, textured sets really add to that effect. You're never quite sure where the girls are, what they're being kept in, what Kevin's ultimate plan is, and it's just a pretty good movie. Until it gets to the last third, where I feel it kind of fell away and wasn't as good as what the first thir two thirds were. And I feel that's because of a contrivance later on that turned a lot of people off in my theatre. Me, I could give or take it, it just wasn't the ending I was kind of hoping for. I was hoping it was going to go a different direction, it didn't quite do that, but it's still a very good movie, very atmospheric and very fun to watch. I don't know if it's going to live up to rewatches though because you kind of know where everything plays now. I doubt it's going to have that kind of punch that it has in the theatre. And another thing, Shyamalan, stop putting yourself in the movies. We know what you look like. You're not the best actor. Stay away. Watching you. Hopefully not on your movies, but I'm watching you. The other thing that kind of annoyed me a little bit with this movie is Kevin's coming and going from this place that he works in and the sort of radio conversation to other people. Does, does nobody follow up on this? You never see anything other than the sort of main characters. You don't see how that affects the way he works or how it affects... Uh, that radio call that the, the, the girl makes to somebody else in the zoo. So, does nobody follow up on that? Overall, I liked Split. I didn't love it. That's why I'm going to give it three out of five. I thought McAvoy's performance was really good. It's big, it's showy, but it demands to be that. It's a very physical performance, and he does very well in the role. Anya Taylor-Joy is excellent as a sort of lead girl, the one that's a little bit smarter than she place things subdued, but you always know that there's something going on inside her head. It's a very sort of interesting performance, and I like her in this movie. I like to see her in other things. The therapist is also excellent, and she's kind of that mothering kind of figure. She even says that these patients are her family of choice, and she's very good in the role, and I liked her role as well. It gets a little cliched in the final third, and some things happen just for the sake of them happening. And ultimately, I didn't find the ending super satisfying. But other than that, the movie's still pretty entertaining. It's definitely worth one watch. It's definitely worth watching with a crowd in the cinema to get the full impact of what's happening. So let me know what you thought of Split, and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.